how do you deploy AI models in production environments? So you've trained an awesome AI model. Congratulations. Uh, but now what? You, you certainly need to deploy it, meaning make it useful, uh, make it productionized, um, you know, apply it in the real world. Think of it like turning your initial science project into a product people can actually use. So what are some of those steps? Well, the first step is to package your model. You know, wrap it into some sort of a service, uh, usually using APIs or some other mechanisms. And tools like Flask or Fast API or Docker, uh, to name a few, make this process easy. It's like turning your code into a little bit of a mini uh, app. The second step would be choosing your runtime. Are you running this in the cloud? Is it on-prem? Is it on the edge? Is it on the phone? Those considerations are important. And, and platforms like um, you know, SageMaker from AWS or Google Cloud AI or on device with perhaps a TensorFlow Lite, uh, all of these help in getting your product out there uh, into the platforms. Um, you've got to monitor everything. You know, models in the wild sometimes behave very differently uh, than they behave in training. So it's very important to monitor them. You know, use tools to monitor their performance, their latency, and perhaps even drift. Uh, and that usually can happen, and often happens with models when the input data starts changing over time. Um, automation is important, so automate updates. Use CID, CD pipelines, you know, this is continuous integration, continuous deployment, to retrain, to test, and to redeploy your models without some massive manual overheads. And then, you know, definitely test in the real world, whether it's A-B testing, whether it's shadow testing, or, or roll it out slowly. Don't let one model uh, update take down uh, your overall application. So bottom line, deploying AI is more than just saving a model file. It's engineering, it's ops, it's monitoring, and it's certainly feedback all rolled into this one singular process. And that's how AI goes from laptop into powering real stuff like chatbots, like cars, or like Netflix recommendations.